Oh yeah, booyah! Yeah, I said booyah. The old great late Stuart Scott. Will you look at it outside already, Andy? Holy shnikes! Hot fun in the summertime. Oh yeah. It is freaking warm right now. It was warm out yesterday, and it's only going to get hotter as the week goes on. 90 today. It goes from there to what? We're expecting 103, 104. Did you throw a niner in there? A <laughs> hundred niner? On, 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 on Thursday? I mean, and God lying, it, it's like a heat wave. Oh, yeah, it's a heat wave. Burn it up my heart. Yeah. Holy mackerel. And the sun, sun's already like, like peeking out or whatever it does. You know, it's, it's like bright eyed, bright eyed, bushy tailed. I think summer's here, Andy. Do you think? Do you think maybe? The first, the first wave of summer? How was your fourth? Yeah, yep, yep. We had a lot of things going on uh, in Great Falls. We had, had uh, last week, we had uh, parades and baseball games, uh, concerts, uh, concert yesterday too, yeah, downtown. Uh, and of course, uh, Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Of course, we were going to touch on it. Uh, social media this week has been full of it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're full of it. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. It, it's been full of fireworks. Uh, pros and cons. Uh, uh, people weighing in. Uh, do we need to vote on it? Uh, it's really. I think really, really, really uh, got out of hand here in uh, Great Falls. Uh, I just, uh, it goes on and on and it goes on for like a week, you know, and, and, and the day after the 4th, you know, it was like the whole town was, how do I want to say this nicely, it was a freaking mess. You know, uh, the, the, the city ordinance, what, what do we got? Do you, you have it? You've read it? The city ordinance says that there are no fireworks in the city limits except for private property. I went over it last week before the 4th, and now we're talking about again because it seems like Nobody follows the ordinance, and the Great Falls Police Department doesn't enforce it. Okay, it doesn't. Uh, people were, go out to the parking lots. Uh, uh, Shop Code North Forty, uh, that's on the west side. Sam's Club uh, on on the Tenth uh, Avenue side by the base. You had uh, uh, what the uh, Agri Village and. and and up there, right, right, right. So, yeah, and Target, exactly. Yeah, the, the ordinance says on private property, but you can drive around on, on, on the 4th of July, and there's people blowing fireworks everywhere in town. I'm right on, on my street. I live in Valley View, Riverview. I don't know what it's called. We, I, we've been over it. It's a valley that with a river on it. That's where I live. And um, the next morning... Well, that night they were in the park by CMR, by Lake North 40, as I said, everywhere, okay? Um, yeah, even Albertson's parking lot, really, yeah. Uh, and the next morning, who cleans up the mess? My whole street was littered. I had to go out clean up my front yard. Had to go out and clean up the backyard before we had the, the, could let any dogs out, because there's all sorts of crap in the backyard. Uh, uh, you know, the the, the 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 people they don't enforce the policy. You know, all they had to do, all the police had to do, is drive down any residential street, and. 
they could have wrote so many violations on my street, they would have had no book. They'd have to go buy a book. Do they still have a little book and everything? You know, they write it down. And, do they? I, okay. You know. Uh, yeah, it's you're right. It's that people don't care anymore. Um, and it seems that uh, what the, the half the, you got the city population up in arms. The, they got veterans. You got dogs. Uh, you got the people that you know that uh, like me that have to go out and clean up their yard. Clean up. We had to go up on the roof and get the shit out of my gutters. Okay. Had like a missile or something stuck in my gutters. <laughs> I, I know. It's like. Wait a minute, are the Russians coming? There's a Russian missile on my gunner. Holy, back in the USSR, you know the luck. You know, it's like, yeah. So, uh, wouldn't it be nice if, you know, it wouldn't be for a week straight. Okay, the ordinance says the second, third, fourth. And we started here in, um, let's see. Well, we sell them in the county like five days before that, so, right, people go out in the county, buy them, bring them back home in the city, and light them up. So we were hearing them from, what, 27th, 28th to the 5th? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it seems to be uh, uh, for a week straight, and, 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 and you know law enforcement could be doing something. It's going on for a week straight, but... Right. They won't do crap. Nope. Nope. So, uh, 30 calls uh, on 4th of July night. They had 30 major uh, fires. Hotel fire. I saw that. Hotel fire. Something's burning! Blah, 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 blah. Something's burning! And I think it's a hotel! You know, it's like, I, geez, man. Uh, you know, and, 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 and you know, they're talk, we, I've, I've heard talk about a vote. I've heard talk that people want to ban them in the city limits. Uh, there's many places uh, uh, in Montana, there's many places in the nation that have done it because people, you know, take it out of hand. You know, they get out of hand with it. You know, of course, you got the naysayers, you know, and, you know, it's my freedom, it's freedom, it's we we're free, it's my right to blow up fireworks. It's like, <laughs> do we have a, like an egg buster? It's your right to blow, you got a copy of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, is, is there anywhere that says, you know, you have the right to blow fireworks off in your neighbor's yard? Scare the vets and dogs? Is, is that right? Freedom? No, it, it, it's not. It, it, there's no American... You, you don't have the right to terrorize your neighbors and trash your community. Okay? Uh, the fireworks are a privilege. They're not a right. They're a privilege. Like, like driving. You know, if you want to drive, it's a privilege. You just can't get to drive. You know, boom, 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 we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, we're driving. You know, you just can't do that. You just got, you got to get a license. Uh, it's the little old lady from Pasadena. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, she had a license. Okay? It's a, pri it's a privilege. Okay? If you abuse a privilege, it's taken away from you. You know? In my opinion, uh, uh, a lot of people in the Great Falls community have abused that privilege. Um, and I think that it should come to a vote. I think it's ridiculous. You know? Um, yeah, right. <laughs> right, like me and my buddy Jim used to always say, well, voting, no! People didn't even know what we were talking about. We were just like voting no all the time. It wasn't, wasn't even an election year. Yeah, and he, he, me and Jim would be, you know, out doing things. We'd be voting no. So, you know, that's, that's, it, that's it for my spinning about fireworks. Um, I think that our community has, has abused the privilege, and um, I think that some have ruined it for everyone. 
which is always the case, isn't it? Yeah, lucky you did, Sam. You got to punish the whole class because little Johnny, what little Johnny do now? He's blowing fireworks out in the uh, uh, Shopco parking lot. There's not even a, uh, Shopco's not even there. They're closed, so people in the community have to go over and clean it up. All right, all right, enough of that, enough of that, riffing and raffing. Enough of that, rap a rap a rap I don't know what has happened. I don't even know the words of that song. I don't know a rapper. All right, let's give a big shout-out to our great, great sponsor and all the folks down at the Great Falls Gazette. I hear they're adding staff. Andy, do you hear that? They're adding another writer. Uh, they have, and, and when they had, they got hard hitting articles, uh, local local news, and it's still only a buck. Yeah, it's still only a dollar. So I mean, what kind of good deal is that? You know, for a dollar, uh, you get you get uh, you get the week. What is it? Monday and Friday. It comes out Monday and Fridays. Um, the edition. Usually it's like 20 pages long. What's, what was I holding up here? It says here it's 17, 19, so 20, and another, there's 20. Yeah, so there, you know, it, it, for a dollar? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Pick up a copy of the Great Falls Gazette today. Subscribe. Find it everywhere. Or come visit them at the Columbus Center. They're, like I said, where are they, Andy? Well, now they're what? Out the door. Take a left. Go down the hall. Take the stairs to the third floor. Come out of the stairs. Take another left. And they're right there. Well, there you have it. There you have it. So if you know where Electric Land Lady, Electric Ladyland Studios is, where we broadcast from, then you know you're just a... Hop, a skiff, and jump around. Jump up and jump, get down, bump, bump, jump up, bump, jump around, jump, jump. All right. Talking to a friend of mine, Andy, over the weekend. And, you know, I had visitors during the holidays. We've, I, I, my buddy, one of the three amigos was in town that was... Me and uh, Brian, Brian and, and Matt, we are the three amigos, and th th no last names, you know, we do not, get, only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. There are no innocent, for crying out loud. Man, we've come up to the conclusion that, uh, yeah, we're, we're all doomed. I mean, come on, we're... We have, Cue the doom music. What is it? That's Jaws. I know. What's doom music? Everybody knows it's like a video. All right. Anyway. We were talking about how weird, how, how schools taught us one thing. And, and basic re reality and, and science has taught us something else. And, and, and the earth is, uh, what we're put, to put it mildly, we're like spinning out of freaking control. Yeah, we're just uh, just out of control. Right. Okay. First off, everybody, how fast does the Earth itself rotate? Right. Right. Andy says about 24 hours. Right. Right. But how fast is that in, in, in other terms? You said 20, you know, it takes 24 hours for the Earth to turn. Well, how fast is the Earth going to do that? Okay, 1,037 miles an hour, okay, um, that's how fast, so the earth is spinning like a top, you know, it's like, whoa, 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 you know, 1,037,000 miles an hour, wham, wham, you know, all right, okay, and, but like any spinning top or ball, okay, it effectively is spinning zero at the north and, and, and at its pinnacles, north and south equator. Okay, so that would mean 
All right, that would mean that the Earth isn't round and it isn't a sphere because how a sphere, a sp s p h e r e sphere, not a, not a sphere like a spear, like a sp s p no, it's a sphere. It's not round. It's like okay. It's kind of like, okay, it's round and it's spinning really fast and so it gets kind of oblong, squished, like anything else would that is, 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 is spinning that fast. We're going a thousand miles an hour as a planet, okay? Can you imagine if we just stopped for a minute? And everybody stop! From a thousand miles an hour to just nothing moving on the planet. You'd still be going a thousand miles an hour. Plus all of our stuff. Right, right. It, it's a weird concept when you start, you know. And, and because we're going a thousand miles an hour, and it's, you know, we're putting pressure, we're putting pressure on the, we're putting pressure on the crust. Okay? So the crust is like under stress because you're going a thousand miles an hour. And we got, you know, earthquakes, volcanoes, and all that stuff. And so we got the planet. And, and that's all doing that. Like I said, yeah, wouldn't it be? We're just stop. It's weird to try to comprehend that we're moving a thousand miles an hour. The planet is moving, and we're on the planet. It'd be like if we were in a car going a hundred miles an hour. Everything in the car... If you're drinking a cup of coffee in your car, it's go the coffee's going 100 miles an hour, okay? If you were to slam on the brakes, everything would go through the front window. Your coffee, you, everything, okay? So everything's going 100 miles an hour. On the planet, everything is going, I mean, I'm sitting here podcasting on a Monday morning, and here we are going, you know, Thousand miles and thirty-seven. Yeah, at, at, at what? March eighth at precisely I don't know eight eight fifteen ish. We're going a thousand miles an hour. Okay. So if you can't if you can have a hard time wrapping your head around that because it's actually that's what's going on. My bobbleheads on the studio, the whole studio, the whole building's going, you're right, got it? Okay. But wait, Andy, there's more. Okay, but wait. Okay. There's more. The Earth, okay, the Earth orbits the sun now at a speed of 67,000 miles an hour. That's like traveling from... London to New York City in like what? Didn't we look that up? What What was it? It was two minutes and 48 seconds. You'd be from New York to London or vice versa. Right. So we're, so as we're, as we're going around a thousand miles an hour, our planet's going around the earth, or going around the sun, <coughs> At 67,000 miles an hour. So we're spinning at 1,000. We're traveling. The planet's traveling 67,000 miles just to get around the, down the sun. And the Earth and the sun themselves and our solar system are orbiting in around the, our own galaxy, our, the Milky Way, at about 400,000 miles an hour. So our, our, right, right, we spin at a thousand while we go 67,000 miles an hour and while around the sun and that all, this, all of us are going in the galaxy 400,000 miles an hour. 400,000 miles an hour. Now, all this is taking place all this that I'm saying now, as as all this spinning and traveling is rotating, is going on and orbiting. The Earth is literally chasing the Sun, okay? Because that's we're hurtling through space. 
Okay, we're spinning like a top, we're rotating 67,000 miles an hour, we're hurtling through space at another 400,000 miles an hour. Okay, so, look, when you were in grade school, okay, when we were all in grade school, and, and we were taught how the solar system worked, and it was all flat, and we're all just sitting there. And the teacher's like, la di da you know, the planets go around, you know, and Earth is going like this, and they all do it in some regular fashion, and all, uh, it's like, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. It, it's like, okay. You're in school. We're in third grade. We look at the solar system. It's flat. We're all regularly traveling around the sun at around the same speed, and nothing could be further than the truth. Okay? First of all, we're not. Planets are not only. They're not. First of all, they're not going all at the same speed. Neptune is slow. Is a slow mo full. Okay? Neptune, man, they're like, well, yeah. Yeah, whatever, man. We're Neptune, man. We're not in a hurry. Mercury's like, let's go! Okay? They're fast, all right? Earth, we take a year, okay? So, look at how... Okay, we're all, like, flat. The solar system's like that. The teacher's like, everything's cool. And that's cool. First of all, the solar system's at about a 70-degree angle. It's like this. Okay? All right. It's like this. And it's traveling that way. That way. So it's like this and traveling like that. Okay? And we're traveling. It's traveling at like 400,000 miles an hour. Okay? The planets can't keep up. They can barely keep up. We don't rotate in an orbit. Okay? We, if you look it up on Google, what we do is we corkscrew. We corkscrew. Because we're going... 400,000 miles an hour while we spin 1,006. It's a miracle that we just don't implode, explode, whatever. We're, we don't orbit. We corkscrew. If you orbit, if you're staying still, okay? If we're moving, four, uh, my finger's moving 400,000 miles, okay? We're orbiting like this at a 70-degree angle, and we're going 400,000 miles an hour. Boom! We, we corkscrew. The planets corkscrew. It's, it's just the weirdest thing I've ever read and, and, and talked about in my whole life. It, it's like, it's like the planets, you know, the planets can't keep up, okay? They're all poking around like I was joking like Neptune. They're all flying in. They're all like, not like this, they're like that and going like this, all right? So how can they rotate in a circle? If they're going this way, 400,000 miles an hour. You all learn this. It's like, what, freshman science, eighth grade science? Okay? Not the corkscrew, but the corkscrew effect. Okay? A speed. You learn about the speed of sound, the speed of light, all of that. Okay? All right. So if we're moving 400,000 miles this way, not to mention that, our, 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 uh, that the galaxy that we're in, is also spinning. <laughs> I know. Everything's moving. And it's moving freaking fast. All right? It is like moving. Yeah. It is fast any. Yeah. It is going. You got the net. We're in a slant. We're flying like that. 400,000 miles an hour while we're trying going 67,000 miles extra trying to keep up with the sun. Okay, and all the other planets. So we're corkscrewing through the solar through the, through the galaxy. Okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And if all of that, and if all of that don't get you going, if all of that, right? Our galaxy is twisted at another what? Six hundred thousand miles an hour. So our galaxy's spinning 600,000 miles an hour while we're traveling 400,000 miles an hour and we're spinning another thousand and looping at 67. 
We're just moving. The Earth is not flat. I'm not. No, the flat Earthers are going to go. Look what he said. We're oblong. It just makes sense if you push. It's just centrifugal force. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing. Good call, Andy. So, what? What could what could be worse? Well, we know there's all sorts of galaxies out there, right? And our nearest one. Uh, neighbor is the uh, Andromeda, and Andromeda is I'd say okay the Andromeda galaxy, and the the mass is of the Andromeda galaxy is do I have this correct Andy? I do okay the mass of it is that it's so big uh, that we can see it with the naked eye if you just know how to look if you're in a low light pollution if you were like out in the Bob Marshall where there's not a, you know somewhere like that you you right we can spot it it's that big okay um, you can see it without a telescope right you can see it with the naked eye absolutely uh, and it's just about two point Eight, Andy, 2.8, 2.7 million light years, billion light years, billion light years from Earth. Um, the bad news about our neighbor is that the Andromeda galaxy is on a direct uh, collision course uh, with our own galaxy, uh, which is the Milky Way. And... Um, it, 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 yeah, yeah, we're, it's a direct, because of the way we're swinging, everything's swirling and moving and blah, blah, blah. Everything's got its place, and, and uh, sooner or later, um, the Andromeda galaxy, yeah, they're, they're high, they're, they're in the passing lane, and we're in the passing lane, and we both, yeah, we're, there is no chance that we're not going to hit. How fast? It, it's coming towards us at 68 miles per second. Holy. <laughs> they are moving. The Andromeda boys. And that's the solar system. That, that's, see, the Milky Way has hundreds and thousands of solar systems in it. And the Andromeda, yeah. The odds that there's life somewhere else are spectacular. If I was a betting man and they had the odds in Vegas, I'd, right, yep, 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 yep. So, at 68 miles per second, at that rate, in about, and this isn't long in, in, in terms of our planet, because people, we're in a collision course, Andy, 2.5 to 4 billion years from now, okay? Yep, yep. All of a sudden, yeah, they're bang! And it all wins a big bang. Hey, Kaylee Coco, let's talk about Kaylee. I thought I'd bring her in. Yeah. Anyway, the galaxies will lot will collide, and and, uh, and 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 merge as become a, like a super galaxy. Yeah, it'd be like a super, super secret agent, huge galaxy. Uh, everything that's on our planet will cease to exist, maybe. It depends what state our planet's in, exactly. If we have life on our planet, we'll cease to exist. If we don't have life on this planet, which is a real likelihood... Uh, the way we're going, if you think mankind's going to go for another couple billion years, no species has. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when the planet goes through its uh, cleansing periods, it takes billions of years. So uh, when the galaxies collide, if there's not life, then billions of years later, maybe there will, maybe they're not. 
You know, it's a really interesting, it was a really interesting topic and a really interesting read that, you know, how fragile we are, you know, our, our planet's spinning so fast that it's, that it's bulging in the middle, okay, it's a, it's, it, it's, a, it's a wonder that the crust don't just burst apart and in parts it is. You know, because we're spinning a hundred thousand miles, you know, we're spinning a thousand miles an hour. And we're trying to travel around the sun, we got to do another, you know, we got to get, yeah, Smokey and the Bandit in the trans hand. Let's go! We got to go around the sun! Oh, we got it up to 67,000 miles an hour! Yeah, right. Meanwhile, the, the solar system's slanted like this and traveling in 400,000. So we're not rotating around the sun. We're corkscrewing through the through the galaxy, and the galaxy is moving what 600,000 miles an hour. And we got Andromeda coming at us, 68 miles per second. Man, what a weird just it's just weird. It's like man, it's just just weird stuff, man. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. So. What else is going on? It's just weird. Yeah, hang on. I like the anthology where you talk about in a car. Right. As a planet, we're moving 100,000 miles, or we're moving 1,000 miles an hour. In a car, you're driving 100 miles an hour. Everything in a car, a pencil, your Big Mac, your cup of coffee, is traveling 100 miles an hour. Slam on the brakes and tell me that everything don't fly. Can you imagine if the Earth at 1,000 miles an hour stopped? Man. As we corkscrew through the galaxy. Man. All right. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. So, what else is going on? It's hot. going to be hot all week. Okay. It's July. It is her birthday. One of my favorite girls is Sophia Bush. She was in Chicago PD. Yeah, yeah, the detective. Yeah, and she was, was it Miss Sam or something like that. She was the lead, the producer. Right. Yep, yep. It is her birthday today. Adorable feet. Oh, she's got cute feet. Yep, yep. That's why she's one of my favorites. Um, like I said, it's going to be hot this week. Hot, 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 hot. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to take your dog in the car and go anywhere when it's 100 freaking 3 degrees. You throw a diner in there again. 109 degrees out. Why? What the hell? Take him out of an air-conditioned house. And there's no reason to take your dog or anything else that you have to leave in that car. Okay? We will be out, Andy. We will be out. We have our window breakers. Window breakers. So if you see some of a dog in a car, just PM me. We'll be there. All right. Andy says we have to go. We're done. We're done. All right. Hey, remember, everybody, stay and neuter. All right? Doc, don't shop. Foster rescue, volunteer, and hey, adopt a shelter pet today. Until next Monday, don't be taking your car dogs out in the car in this weather. Andy, we're out of here. We are out of here. See you next Monday.